Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Heavy Repping. My name is John Tron Davidson, and I am here in the bracket, our super secret test location in the southwest of England. Welcome, Vilcommon, Ola, Bienvenue, Konnichiwa, and Bonjour to the best uh, Plectrum and Guitar Ephemera reviewing channel on the internet. Now, nobody really does Plectrums correctly, I don't think, so I'm going to give it a whack. Uh, and I hope that you will all stay with me as I review all sorts of stuff from all different parts of the world. Uh, I've got picks that are going to come up made from stone, steel, acrylic, carbon fiber, polyamidamide, thermoplastic, you name it. Uh, and today I'm going to introduce the channel a little bit and myself a little bit and the gear we're going to use for all of these tests. So if you don't mind, why don't you join me? Come on. So as I said, my name is John Tron Davidson. I've been playing guitar since 1995. Uh, I played in bands such as those listed down here. Uh, and I played bass in a lot of bands such as those listed down here. Uh, I worked on Denmark Street in London for five years. Uh, I also worked at uh, Project Music in, uh, in the southwest of England. I worked at Biggers Music in Glasgow. And I spent my life playing in bands, being in bands and genuinely enjoying uh, music in every form I could find it. So I thought it would be worth celebrating and indulging uh, a love of uh, the little bits of material that we use to play our instruments with. Now it won't just be guitars here, we'll be doing uh, bass, mandolin, dulcimer as well uh, amongst other things. I'm going to have a few people in having a chat with us but uh, the important thing today is just me getting to know you, you getting to know me and all the rest of it. So I thought I would take you through some of the gear that we're going to use for doing these tests. Now it will be the same principally, it will be the same each time, though there will be single coil tests and other things, but the gear we're going to use is as follows. So this is my Odessa Deadbeat. Uh, it was built for me by Mike Wiltshire at Odessa Guitars in Bath. Shout outs to Mike, good guy, go and check him out at Odessa Guitars. And uh, this is a um, ash body, European ash body, with a chamber on this side, uh, an aluminium scratch plate, ebony fingerboard with stainless steel frets, hip shot tuners and bridge, uh, maple neck, and the pickups are a uh, Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul Deluxe mini humbucker in the neck and a creamery 65 staple top mini humbucker in the bridge because I like mini humbuckers. I had a volume and tone, uh, both alpha pots on the bone nut as well. It only exists because I wanted it to be this way and Mike very kindly built it for me. So I thought I would use the thing with which I am most familiar. Now, that brings us on to the amp. So the amp that I have chosen to use is this. This is a Sonus SC50 2x12. Um, these are made in Glasgow by a gentleman called Tam Lynch. Uh, if you ever find one of these, do let me know. So the reason I've chosen these two things is because they give clarity to the sound. Um, the pickups are not high output in the Odessa and it gives an opportunity for you to hear what the pick is doing. So no one's going to have this set up because there's only one of these. Nobody bought these amps. Um, even though they sound wicked. And you're not going to turn right home and say, well, it's just as well, I have a Sonus and a custom made Odessa Debbie at home. That's, that's not relevant here. The important thing is that you get to hear what the pick is doing clearly. Uh, to that end, I'm also going to run it through some pedals as well. Uh, again, I'm using the stuff that I always use, but my setup is very, very straightforward. I'm going to include a little picture if I can here. And if this hasn't worked, I'm just holding my hands up to this poster I made. Isn't it nice? The drive that I use is a Gold Sounds Leopold Mark II, which has uh, a, piano pre a piano preamp based drive off the Fender Rhodes on one side and a modified Mark II tone bender on the other side. Again, these are quite low gain units. Uh, the drive especially is very, very clear. I like that. Uh, I do a lot of chords that are quite dense uh, and so otherwise when I was using higher gain stuff it all got a bit kind of lost. Um, but I'm going to throw in other things like I've got a Shinny uh, 
tile style FY6 fuzz and all the rest of it. The other thing is that, and this is very important for the testing, we're going to go in completely clean at first, and we will always compare to the Dunlop 73. The Dunlop 73 is the most widely used pick in the world, uh, and it seemed only fair to use that as the benchmark. So we're going to do clean testing and testing with compression, because a lot of players use compression. I use an MXR uh, Mini Dynacomp for that. So enough of my yakking. What do you say? Let's boogie. So the sort of picks that we're going to be testing are as follows. B. Dragonheart, Hardened Heart, the Chicken Picks Bermuda 2.7, the V-Pick Switchblade, the Course Pick, the Stone Age Guitar Picks Old Grey. These are all cool and stuff, but let's start with something a little less extreme that you're going to be able to find in a number of guitar shops around the world, and it's this. The Jim Dunlop Flow Series 1.5 Standard. So these are made from Altex, uh, which is very common to those of you who know things like the Altex uh, Jazz XL, which are those yellow sort of see-through ones. Altex is a material that's used for skate wheels, amongst other things. It's very, very hard. Uh, it's got a very hard tonality as well. It doesn't have much give in it. Um, this is a one and a half mil version. I've got here in my pocket, of course, a two mil version, which is the Jumbo. These are wicked as well. But I thought this would be as good a place to start as any, and I'm simply going to use this to let you hear how this behaves with this setup um, using the clean sound, compression, drive, and fuzz, and all the rest of it. So, beg my indulgence for a few moments while I play some guitar. Always chin up, kids. <laughs>
So hopefully that will give you a reasonable overview uh, of the sort of sounds that we're going to be using when we're doing the testing here. Uh, now obviously I'm going to be doing quite a bit of testing with a Strat as well, which is a, a old 84 ESP400 series, um, wired up like a totally normal Strat. It's a Strat. Uh, I've also got uh, bass and dulcimer that we're going to use uh, to make sure that you can get a good spread of sounds and an acoustic as well, um, which will be both tested, plugged in uh, and unamplified straight into the Zoom Q2N that we're using to record all of the audio for the guitar. Uh, I should also mention I'm using a Purple Panda uh, Lavalier mic just in case anybody's interested and that's recording straight into my telephone which is in my pocket because we can do that nowadays. So it is my hope that I'll be able to bring you proper genuine information and uh, wisdom on picks and if you've got any picks that you think that I should check out do let me know. Uh, this is a fiscally preventative hobby on occasion but I do have north of 200 picks to work through uh, including doing top fives and all the rest of it and don't forget there's plenty of information on heavyrepping.com which is down there and uh, we got interviews with the likes of uh, Epo Franken from Chicken Picks, uh, Vinnie Smith from V Picks, um, Ruvane Curlin from the Coin Guitar Pick Company, and some coming up from Iron Age Customs, uh, Rombo, uh, Stone Age Picks themselves, and many, many more. So it is with great pride that I say welcome, welcome to Heavy Repping, uh, and I hope to see you all again very soon. I've been John Tron Davidson, and remember, rep hard, rep heavy.